lessons involved contracts. Welcome back to Pisces TV with Dr. MB. This is a finance reading for my Pisces. Let's get some coins up in here. All right, we're going to talk about your finances, career, life purpose path, all that kind of stuff. Whatever Pisces may fall in your chart involving the house of, you know, joint income, prosperity, abundance, and coins, work, career. So all of my returners appreciate you guys for returning and your continued support. If you hadn't already, check the Daily Vibe and Love reading where we've been talking about offers and proposals. So, that, you know, if you ain't really into the love bug thing, this could be something coming about if you love money um, in that arena. For the newcomers, definitely appreciate you stopping by. Check the description box. There's a lot of stuff there. If you're interested in winning free personal readings, I have a few contests going, so subscribe. Check the community board and make sure that notification bell is hit so that you get those daily notifications on product specials, coupons, codes, and to just hang out with us, okay? If you're interested in the extended to this video, the links to Patreon is in the description box and you can join us on the other side. As this looks like, you know, good news here. You have the, the current situation of the sun. I split the cards and something said, just open it. So I was like, okay, you know, I ain't gonna argue. And the sun comes out, all right? Definitely love that. Happiness and abundance, clarity in a situation. Subconscious is coming together with consciousness and that had come up in one of your other readings. Great awareness to be revealed when our conscious mind comes together in harmony, okay? It may be telling you to take the negative situation and see it in a positive manner, all right? Definitely love that. And I have a few clarifiers down here that we are going to talk about before we get into the extended, of course, because I want to give you the gist of the energy. So stepping into your leadership skills, gurus, okay? Feeling electric, the solar power within you, okay? Definitely love that. Uh, on a mundane level, you know, the sun could also forewarn of sunburns, you know, and, and being overly exposed, and if it's like overly exposed to what? Well, the seven of pentacles could talk about time. Okay. Um, definitely about time, reflection and waiting. So for some of you, it's kind of like a need to step back and look at it so you can see it from that different perspective. And then others of you, there could be too much time put into something. So we want to keep that in mind. Okay. As I saw the five of pentacles broken up, which is good, right? Because sometimes we see five pentacles and it's like all doom and gloom. So stepping back, seeing it from a different perspective with the page of pentacles here, it talks about good news, could talk about the slowness, the time, you know, that, that it's taking. Um, something we're holding on to or an inheritance of some sort. There may have been an inheritance. Now, some of y'all, it's kind of like you're acting like your daddy. I don't know what that means. Um, I have an alliance here with the two pages. That's very good. It could talk about observation, you know, being a student, thinking, receiving, being teachable. And it's like teaching yourself new habits for some of you or teaching yourself to look at the potential. Definitely love that. Where these could, this could be a double emphasis on communication. The page of swords could represent reading communication. The page of pentacles is some, some type of news delivered, reaching out or something like that. And then we have the Four of Pentacles, which is the Empress energy for me. And, you know, I like that. I, I, I like it in this energy where it talks about an inheritance. Okay. So the world card, a sudden change, luck, fortune. I do like that too. So as we get into it, like I said, the Seven of Pentacles just came out as crossing. Um, and then in the, you know, the stance that you may want to take. All right, what you should aim towards the action to take in your goals. That's where the page of swords kind of came up. So it's like, notice she's taking a stance. Notice her sword is lifted. She's not really swinging it, but it's like she's ready. So some of you guys may be questioning if you're ready at this drawing board. And maybe you shouldn't do that. Okay, because in questioning if you're ready or not, this could take more time. This could slow things down. And it's like being overly analytical, paying attention to the details too much, and maybe not putting in the action uh, behind this 
analyt the what is it? I was trying to be smart and then it didn't even come out right. Um, analytical, overly analytical, and analysis. Okay, you're trying to analyze something and just hold it on too tightly. All right. Now the world card is here, and I sometimes talk about the internet, stocks, bonds, uh, real estate. Uh, I don't know where they came from, but when we talk about the market, is some of you it's like holding off on the market, or you know maybe you're into wanting to do stocks, bonds, uh, getting into the world trade or whatever. You know I don't know what they call it, but there could be a big payout. I know that happened before. Now this was before Tesla. Uh, got his, you know, got his money out of it, you know, because <laughs> he had for him to go into Forbes with uh, his new, um, I guess, income, right? I know that some of that came out of those stocks that had blasted. And I just put in a baby number, you know, into the stocks uh, online. And I got a decent, cute little old payout, right? So I figured everyone did, and then boom, you know, he took out his share, and then I don't know um, if it's doing so well now, but for some of you guys, there may be payback and investment on something you've already put energy into, all right? And I definitely like that. So we're going to talk about it for those of you where there's this alliance, others of you that need kind of guidance and a push on habits, uh, especially if you're overanalyzing something, spending too, too much time thinking about things. And then here it's like the timing is now time to take action, okay? Holding your focus. So when I think about focus, and if this is if the sword is the focus and the page is holding it, she's distracted because she ain't holding her focus on the sword. She's looking ahead. Uh some of you may need to look ahead and you know, reach out, reach up, look up. And others of you is kind of like, hold on. So let's talk a little bit about it, Pisces. I can't wait to see you guys on the other side if this is where we leave off. Namaste.